sharing documents via SharePoint instead of email attachments. Sharing documents via email attachments is not ideal. Think about time wasted every day trying to find documents buried in the threads of emails or data security risks in sensitive documents being spread across several inboxes. To give your team access to data security, governance mastery, collaboration opportunities, and integration capabilities, help them to start using SharePoint for the task. Stephanie Donahue, president at Pate Group, outlines actions you can take to help your team abandon email attachments and gradually adopt SharePoint. This clip is part of a full course on how to help your team adopt the right digital tools for document management. To watch the full course, click the link below. Next up, we have the inbox hoarder. That would be me. That's my picture there. Um, I'm probably as guilty of this as I am of anything when it comes to organizing. Um, I, I have for many years had a pretty organized inbox. But I was actually called out by a coworker once uh, a few years ago, and he said, well, you've got all this stuff in your inbox, like it should be in SharePoint. And I said, well, it is. I, you know, I move stuff into SharePoint all the time. I move my attachments over. And he said, well, why is it still in your inbox? And I didn't have a real good answer for that. Um, it's, it's there because I'm comfortable because it's close. We all kind of do that. CYA thing, right? You got to make sure you have it if someone calls you out. Um, and again, it's it's kind of my area. It's my space. I manage it. I know where everything is. But there's a couple reasons not to do this. You, we, we talked earlier about having documents on our desktop. It's not that different. Um, it is backed up at least if it's in our exchange or email system. But I can't share it with anybody. Um, you know, if stuff comes in from a customer and somebody else needs to reference a document that is attached to an email, they don't have access to it in my own personal inbox. And the other thing is that it takes up a lot of storage space. So your IT department may be dealing with being out of storage. And now you've got two copies of that document. You've got it once in Exchange and once in SharePoint. If you're on the business side, that, that may be of no concern to you at all, uh, but IT is definitely struggling with having too much content. So something to keep in mind with uh, all of us maxing out the amount of storage we need in all of our devices, you know, we're doubling up there too. Something else is if um, maybe you're doing a position that's pretty important, you got a lot of information in your inbox, and uh, you get promoted. And once you're promoted, then, um, you know, all that information that's in your personal inbox maybe kind of no longer belongs to you or is no longer relevant to you. And the next person coming in to do your role, it'd be really great if they had that information. Um, but the time it's going to take you to sort through everything in your inbox is going to be pretty significant. And it's probably not going to be ideal. You're probably going to miss stuff that should be moved over. And while you may help that person to the best of your ability get ramped up, they may be missing stuff, right, if you have to go hunting for it through your inbox. So one of the biggest things we need to do in transitioning to Office 365 and SharePoint is to keep in mind that we need to move out of email and, and really get to know the communication uh, platforms that are available to us through uh, SharePoint 365 and, and really think about different ways to work. And part of that does include getting those attachments and those emails out of your inbox and into an area where someone can take advantage of them. We also have other solutions, uh, not just for paper, but uh, especially for those in uh, using emails, right? We've got some things that connect into um, our email systems into Outlook. Um, I'm going to demo Harmony for you, but I also know AvPoint Office Connect is a really fantastic product for that. Um, Caligo is another one. So again, I'm not promoting anybody in particular today, uh, but there's a lot of really good solutions out there for you uh, to help get some of that information, that document, those um, attachments out of your email and into SharePoint. So I'm going to demo this one too. So here we have uh, our email inbox. You'll notice I have this neat little um, bar over here on the right hand side that has access directly into my SharePoint environment. And I have a list of my sites there as well. And so if I want to email a document, then I can 
create a new email here. I'm going to send this to myself. And I can go into, let's see, I'm in my sandbox site. So I just need to go into my document library here. And I can drag and drop any of these documents into my email. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you've got a newer version of Outlook, you can attach files from here as well. You can browse to your web locations. Um, you know, I think sometimes that that can be okay, but I kind of prefer the interface where I can see everything and it's a little easier to get to. I can still do my filters and stuff. So anyway, I can drag and drop from here into my email. You'll notice that it also, what I like here is that it provides a link instead of attaching the document. So in terms of changing behavior, right? I've been in, I've been in IT a long time. I still have that habit of like attaching documents to my emails, even though I know SharePoint's available and I should probably share by sending a link. Um, sometimes I just, you know, I'm already working in my email and I need to go grab it from here. So it's a little easier to do, um, but I think that's great in terms of changing the mentality, but sometimes you also need to just copy the document and send it externally. So you also have that option here as well. So you can send a link and you can set your default, which whichever way you prefer to be your default. Um, I'm going to copy that document. I'm going to paste it over here and it's now an attachment. So I can do that as well. Uh, let's see. We're going to send it to ourselves hit send and you'll notice that it's also prompting me again changing behavior where I can um, attempt to send an attachment but it's going to remind me so if I forget it's going to say hey did you actually mean to send this or to send a link instead of sending an attachment I could say yes in this case I am going to say no and it's going to send so we'll give that a minute here and then um, it should come back into my inbox I'll show you uh, how to slide it back into SharePoint. So here's our document again. We got a couple add-ins. I'm big on add-ins here. So here's my sandbox site again. I'm going to go down and open up my document library. And I'm going to move it over. So you'll notice it's going to respect the fact that that document already exists and it's going to tell me that. So am I adding a new version? Yes or no? I can check that box and I can click OK. Now, if I have um, certain security set up, it respects security. It respects check in and check out. You can do all of that from this interface as well. It's just a right click that check in, check out functionality is available from here. You can also approve documents, publish them as a final version from this interface. So very quick and easy for users to understand. Um, and there's, like I said, there's a couple different programs that you can do this with, um, including Avpoint Connect, um, Harmony, and uh, Clio is the other one. So a lot of really good stuff here uh, that, that kind of just, you know, helps get the user in the mindset of working a different way, that gives them reminders of working a different way, and that makes it super easy for them to get that information out of share or out of your inbox and into SharePoint without having to first download the document to your desktop, open the web browser, go to SharePoint, find it there, save it in the right place, um, set the metadata, all of that. So quick and easy. Another one of my favorites I'm not going to get into today uh, is the Boomerang app. If you guys are not using that yet, um, you can, let me just open one of these real quick. It looks like this, you say open Boomerang. This is something that will allow you to set reminders. So uh, if you want it to leave your inbox for a little while, but remind you about it in a week, you can do that. If you're sending a new email and uh, you want, if no one responds to that email, you want it to come back to you in a week or two days or whatever, you can do that as well. Um, so I, I think Boomerang's one of those really great, again, free apps available uh, in Outlook. And uh, I, I think it's one of those where uh, taming the hoarders, it's, it's about email too, right? Um, getting some of that email out of your inbox, getting that zero inbox experience. Boomerang's a great app for that. So go check it out. Uh, in terms of cost, Avpoint, Office Connect, um, and Caligo and Harmony are all paid programs, but many of them offer like a five for free kind of thing where you can try them out for an unlimited amount of time for a very small group of users. So just keep that in mind. Um, but I think they're pretty affordable solutions overall. If you would like to automate training and support for your team, install Visual SP 
the Plug and Play Instant and Contextual Self-Help System for SharePoint and Office 365. Over 1.5 million users and over 200 companies are using Visual SP to boost user adoption by over 30% while reducing the burden on their IT support teams. Using Visual SP step-by-step -step interactive tutorials, give your colleagues the help they need exactly when they need it. Facilitate employee onboarding with always accessible tip sheets, annotated screenshots, step-by-step -step walkthroughs, and screen capture videos. Accelerate user adoption of your business workflows and improve productivity. To see how Visual SP works, request a free demo. Click the link below or go to visualsp.com.